Hello everyone. My name is Sundaresh and I'm a solutions architect with the Global Technology Practice at SAS. Earlier, I also had the pleasure of serving as the product manager for unstructured data. This includes text, speech to text and conversational capabilities. Both these roles have reinforced the importance of listening to customers at all times. And one key message that we get from our customers, some of you are in the audience, is that you would like analytical solutions to be more approachable. I concentrate on text analytic solutions in this particular case, but I'm sure the same argument could be made for other solutions as well. What is approachable? In terms of approachable, one way to look at it is to reduce the mystery around text analytics and make it easier to consume, easier to deploy, and easier to understand. In short, we move forward on the strength of our core text analytic capabilities and build applications on top of them. The tasks involved in core text analytics are things like categorization, entity extraction, sentiment modeling, topic modeling. They speak to more technically oriented user personas. The text analytics results you surface in end user applications are a different matter altogether. A basic medium through which results of analytics are surfaced, you know them better as reports and BI, and definitely we have done a lot of good work there. However, results are reports, are a great medium in providing information, but may only go so far in terms of conveying insights. They just state what is, and the consumer of such analytics is expected to know what to do next. That's why we looked at using core text analytics capabilities, reporting capabilities, powerful decisioning and model management solutions from SAS, add in a healthy dose of standard, easy to deploy web development frameworks such as Node.js and we created some examples of applications I would like to offer. Please note that none of what you're going to see are products per se, but rather they are suggestions on how you use SaaS in friendly integration with other technologies to execute business decisions. And that's when your investment, time and effort in analytics actually becomes valuable. For example, here is one case where you would like to handle large volumes of feedback and complaints that keep coming in to your support center, typical for service industries with large customer bases. One needs to balance handling complaints efficiently as per proper priority with the need to make sure your customer doesn't get angry and churn. There are also support to sales opportunities you might like to take advantage of. So let's test this application. So on the left hand side, you got a space where the customer provides us feedback. And you get a result on the right hand side. Here you can see how we illustrate that upon providing feedback, a text analytics model categorizes it and also provides a recommendation, which could be customer targeted in this case, or sometimes a recommendation just to the agent. Just allowing you some time to look at the results. So how is this possible? Just getting behind the scenes for a moment, here are some recent changes we have carried out to our text analytics categories and concepts, as well as sentiment and topic models are now publishable to micro analytics services. MAS is SAS's powerful mechanism and API to execute decision flows. What happens here is seamless transfer from the text analytics solution to model manager and intelligent decisioning, where this model was published and based on the results of the model, 
an appropriate recommendation is made. It can be as complex as you can like it to be. That depends on the model. Let's watch the model getting registered. As a business user, you are concerned only with the front end, the interface. You have your data flow in and your agents are now empowered with additional information as a result of the decision flow. This illustration is also meant to show that these models can be called from your web applications through REST APIs. And aside from that, what really matters is that you can access results of analytics in a more approachable manner. Another aspect I wish to highlight is that approachable text analytics helps us answer the questions that business users ask of the data in an easier to understand fashion. We make use of two very related technologies here. Natural language processing and natural language understanding. These help us in interpreting the question and Natural language generation provides an answer back to the user through a conversational medium. Let's check it out. Tell me about my customers. Okay, I want to learn more. More details. Approachable text analytics goes beyond just providing results and what can be termed as answers for something that you're searching for. But it also helps in providing answers these answers in a conversational manner. For example, here you are able to access a specific part of the report with number of customers and also can ex the result is expressed back to you in easy to understand language. So you can tune in to any of the other sessions involving the SaaS conversation designer or the visual analytics SDK in order to learn more about this. In addition to the chatbot or conversational aspect, you also have one more value add. You can trigger analytics using text analytics models on this data with which you are transacting at that very moment. And then you do get to looking at detailed results, but you have already got the gist, the summary, which is provided by a text analytics model and know what to do. And your business purpose is easily satisfied. I just also want to quickly touch upon one additional aspect to make text analytics even more approachable. The fact that many of these applications are powered by models built with linguistic and machine learning expertise. But it's tough to find such resources easily. They are like unicorns in the market. One way to still make progress is to use accelerators and pre-built components that we provide so that you don't need to start every project from scratch. So back to another customer support or feedback application. Let's take a look. So I've provided some input and I get a result back. Take a look at these results. is that there are some predefined concepts which are provided here. The benefit of this is that you will be able to quickly identify some common entities such as persons, locations and organizations and use this to understand your text data much better. These could be customer inputs or insurance notes or research papers, anything which contain text. We call these common aspects as entities. And being able to identify these entities out of the box means that you can provide a jump start to solving your business problem. 
we also acknowledge that it's also always required to carry out further improvements. For example, what if you want to distinguish between Tacoma, the car, versus Tacoma, the city in Washington? That's why we provide these predefined concepts as accelerators, but don't impose them as the only entities that you can use. You can always customize, you just don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's with this spirit that we also provide some references here on various business-focused applications we would like the community to consider. Again, there's always need for customization whenever you'd like to build something that belongs to this class of solutions. You have to take into account industry-specific nuances. You have to take into account your specific business purpose. But the first step is always the hardest step, which is to think about approachable text analytics in terms of what is the result that you want and how do you make these models work towards providing that result rather than running these models and then trying to align those results to your objective. So I leave you again with these broad principles regarding approachable text analytics. Organizations are focused around using analytics to execute business decisions. And it's the same level of focus these suggestions for approachable text analytics provide in terms of helping you arrive at a decision, providing you supporting deployment channels for your models, such as making use of the REST mass REST APIs, and also providing some pre-built components which you can use to build upon. I hope this was useful. Thank you, and I'm happy to answer any questions.